So, we have uh, discussed about the high voltage uh, importance of high voltage transmission uh, system and uh, how the high voltage technology is being used uh, in the country and elsewhere. The main uh, importance of uh, the high voltage uh, technology was uh, developed originally mainly to cater the needs and also to transfer uh, the large uh, quantities of electrical energy uh, economically at a very high voltages. Today high voltage technology has spread not only from the energy transmission, uh, it encompasses many other uh, areas of engineering science and engineering and science. Because of this high voltage uh, technologies of uh, interdisciplinary in nature, the usage of uh, the technology is being done for various industrial purposes and other numerous applications. So, in the industry the high voltage technology is being used for the electrostatic uh, precipitators mainly to remove the dust particles, exhaust dust particles. The flue gases emitting from the factories or the thermal uh, stations. The technology is being used in the spray painting and for the powder coating by the electrostatic uh, applications. The high voltage technology is used in medical and also scientific uh, applications where the power supplies particularly the high voltage uh, power supplies are used for the x-ray, the electron uh, microscopes, the nuclear research uh, purposes etcetera and modern day gadgets uh, of electrical and electronic industries are also using the electrical technology. Uh, one such example is about the electrical fences uh, which are used to guard the um, main uh, buildings and uh, designated uh, uh, companies or the government uh, buildings where electric fences are being used. And uh, in ion implementation implantation particularly in semiconductors industry it is used. And we know that uh, the power supplies in the television sets uh, which uses the high voltage uh, technology. This uh, high voltage uh, power supplies are again used in oscilloscopes, the ignition coils for our uh, motorbikes or uh, the automobiles also use the uh, basic high voltage uh, technology. So, several uh, applications of high voltage uh, technology exist. So, very important not only for the transmission and distribution and also for the, uh, the regular applications. So, it is very important to know and have a basic information about how these uh, high voltages could be generated in the laboratory level and how this uh, high voltage uh, AC or DC could be used for the testing or verification of the equipments which are used in the transmission or distribution or in the above mentioned uh, industrial applications uh, where these have to be properly verified and they have to be monitored, they have to be tested. So, for such applications uh, it is required to generate high DC as well as high AC and uh, laboratories provide these uh, facilities uh, for the testing aspects. So, we will briefly look into the generation of uh, high voltage uh, DC initially, then we will also look into the generation of high AC voltages and generation of surges in the laboratory, how these are being used the equipment are being used for the testing of the uh, accessories 
uh, insulator strings or uh, the other high voltage equipment in the transmission system. So, very important uh, information which uh, has to be uh, known. So, first we will discuss about the simplest uh, way of uh, generating the DC high voltages. Further we will see how the DC high voltages uh, could be used uh, for the uh, generation of high voltage uh, DC. So, DC transmission or a high voltage DC transmission is known that uh, we are employing for our transmission lines and also for underground cables. Uh, this is becoming more and more popular uh, in the recent uh, days. Apart from the transmission and distribution, uh, several applications of uh, high voltage uh, DC voltages uh, particularly in industries as discussed our research, the medical sciences etcetera are being uh, done. So, the high voltage uh, DC used for testing high voltage AC cables uh, particularly of long lengths as these have a very large capacitance and uh, would require very large values of currents in case if they are tested on uh, HV AC uh, voltages. Even though DC tests on uh, AC cables is a convenient and economical, uh, but suffer from the fact that a stress distribution within the insulating materials is different from the normal operating conditions. In industry high voltage uh, DC as mentioned earlier is being used for electrostatic uh, pre uh, precipitation particularly in thermal power plants for electrostatic painting in cement industry and communication uh, systems. So, high voltage uh, DC is also being used extensively in uh, physics for the study of uh, particle acceleration and in uh, medical equipments. The most efficient method for generating high DC voltages is through the process of rectification which we have already known uh, and this simple rectification uh, idea is being used here for further uh, improvement and the generation of higher voltage uh, DCs by using suitable uh, voltage multiplier or voltage uh, doubler circuits uh, depending upon the voltage requirement. So, the electrostatic generators have also been used for uh, generating high uh, DC voltages wherever a suitable uh, generation of uh, this voltages are required. So, now we will uh, discuss the simplest uh, half wave uh, rectifier uh, circuit uh, which is used for the generation of uh, the DC voltages and how this could be used further for the high uh, DC. So, the simplest uh, circuit for generating high DC voltages is the half wave uh, rectifier uh, circuit which is shown here. This is a single phase uh, rectifier circuit, a single phase, a transformer connecting the output of the transformer is connected to the diode D, it is connected to the capacitor C and the load R L. So, the current flowing through that diode is I of T for a known time and I L is the load uh, current flows through the resistor. So, this is the simplest uh, half wave rectifier where R L uh, is the load resistance and C the capacitance which is used to smoothen the DC output voltage. So, in case if uh, it is assumed or if we assume that the capacitor which is shown here uh, is not connected, then there could be a pulsating uh, DC, there could be a pulsating DC. In case capacitor is absent, there could be a pulsating uh, DC voltage which could be obtained at the output terminals uh, here with the capacitance. So, the pulsation of the output terminals 
are reduced with the help of this capacitance that is one point. So, assuming that this transformer which is shown is an ideal transformer and has a very small internal uh, resistance in it a small internal resistance and uh, sorry uh, transformer is an ideal and small internal resistance of the diode this diode assuming it has a very small internal resistance particularly during conduction. So, the capacitor C this capacitor gets charged to the maximum value through the diode. So, the flow of current will be in this way the capacitor gets charged to a voltage V max during the conduction of the diode. So, assuming that now again if there is no load that is a, there is no R L is connected. So, the DC voltage which is seen here across the capacitance terminals that is uh, between the capacitance terminal he here and here cons it remains constant at V max that is uh, it, be it becomes V max here. Whereas, this supply voltage we have considered that only one cycle. So, if the supply voltage oscillates because of uh, the AC being the positive and negative. So, similarly this during the negative off cycle the plus V max will attain 2 V max. So, this is important. So, because of the oscillation or the supply voltage oscillation uh, we see the voltage appearing across uh, the capacitor in both positive and negative uh, cycle. Uh, will be the 2 V max and this uh, is required uh, for further uh, needed for the cascade circuit to generate a very high uh, DC voltages. So, when the requirement for high DC voltages are to be generated uh, a voltage doubler or a cascade voltage multiplier circuits are being used. Uh, for the generation of high, high voltage uh, DC. The one of the circuit uh, the important uh, circuit known as the Greenacher uh, uh, voltage uh, doubler circuit is shown here. So, the working of uh, this uh, circuit is as follows. Suppose as mentioned earlier this is a transformer you have a capacitor C 1, you have a diode D 1, diode D 2 then C 2 is again a capacitor and a load. This is a general uh, Greenacher uh, voltage doubler circuit. How it functions? Suppose we take the B is a positive more positive with respect to A the diode that is the diode D 1 conducts D 1 conducts and hence the terminal M this terminal M attains a potential of 2 V max. So, because of positive and negative uh, polarity. Uh, in, uh, initially it attains a portion of, of V max sorry the terminal B is more positive with respect to terminal A. The diode D 1 conducts through the charging and the capacitor C 1 to V, v, v max with the polarity as shown here that is a positive polarity. So, V max initially because of the D 1 during the next half cycle uh, the terminal A of the capacitor this terminal rises to V max and hence the terminal here. So, earlier there is a V max here because of the positive polarity now due to the negative polarity. So, plus uh, the V max plus the earlier uh, positive polarity V max will rise the potential to 2 V max and hence the terminal M attains a potential here to 2 V max and the capacitor C Two, this is the capacitor C 2 will be charged through this diode D 2 to 2 V max. So, that is very important. So, normally the voltage which is seen across the load this particular load will be slightly lesser than the 2 V max because this depends Y lies depends upon the time constant of uh, the C 2 the capacitance and the load R L. So, depending upon the load and the C 2 
there could be a small a reduction in the output voltage uh, could be slightly lesser than the 2 V max. So, it depends mainly on the factors C 2 and R L. So, further in 1932 Cockcroft and uh, Walton uh, suggested an imp important improvement uh, over the circuit which was uh, developed earlier uh, which we discussed by the Greenacher uh, for producing the DC voltages. So, this is the Cockcroft uh, Walton uh, circuit for um, uh, using for multiple uh, stages or a multiplier circuit. So, where with several uh, diodes and capacitor units are connected to the load and uh, we could achieve uh, more voltage that is the intention of generating the higher uh, DC voltages. So, when you closely look the circuit here uh, various uh, points have been mentioned here. So, during the no load operation in case there is uh, no operation uh, load is not uh, connected. So, the portion A B A B M and M dash. So, this is A B M dash and A. So, this loop A B M dash M and A this is the operation uh, which is being uh, exactly identical. When you look this portion this is exactly identical to the previous circuit that is a green nature uh, voltage doubler circuit and the voltage across the C 1 here becomes 2 V max which we have uh, discussed and this M will attain the voltage to 2 V max. So, during the next half cycle when B becomes positive with respect to A the potential of M this is M falls and therefore, potential of N this N also falls becoming less than potential M dash. Hence, this C 2 is charged through the D 2 this diode during the earlier uh, uh, stage. Further next half cycle A becomes more positive and uh, potential M and this point N rises thus charging these two capacitors that is C dash 2 through this diode that is D dash 2 through this it charges through D dash 2 and finally, the capacitors C dash 1, C dash 2 or C dash 3 and C 1, C 2 and C 3 are charged. So, the voltage across here the column of capacitor consisting of a C 1, C 2, C 3 keeps on oscillating as the voltage uh, uh, alternates and uh, this uh, column which is oscillating is also known as the oscillating uh, column which is been uh, known. However, as the voltage across the C 1 dash, C 2 dash and C 3 dash remains constant and this column is known as the smoothing column in the circuit. Now, the voltages at M dash and N dash that is M dash this point and N dash and the output O dash are here it is 2 V max, it is a 4 V max and it is 6 V max here. So, therefore, the voltage across all the capacitors that is a terminal here and here is 2 V max except for C 1 where it is V max only for here it is only V max all other uh, points see a voltage of 2 V max. So, the design has to be made in such a way all the capacitors are rated for 2 V max except the C 1 which uh, is at V max only. So, the total output voltage is 2 into n into x number of stages. So, uh, here it is 3 stages the n could be any number of stages depending upon the voltage requirement. Thus, use of uh, multi stage circuit arranged in a manner as shown here will enable to generate a high voltage which is necessary for the applications. So, the equal stress of elements that is uh, both the capacitors and the diodes used is very helpful and this promotes a modular design uh, for uh, such uh, generators. 
during load considering. Uh, so, when the load is uh, added to the generator, so the output voltage uh, will never uh, reach uh, 2 n into number of uh, that V max. So, 2 n is the number of stages. So, V max uh, here again uh, it because of the uh, effect of uh, the capacitance and the R L. So, as the output wave uh, will consist also the ripple of the voltages. So, to reduce the ripple a suitable uh, uh, arrangements have to be done by employing a suitable capacitance uh, in the output uh, side. So, this ripple could be reduced depending upon the requirement of the uh, DC output voltage. So, we have to deal with two quantities that is a voltage drop and the ripple uh, of the uh, voltages which have been uh, seen. So, whether the ripple quantity have to be reduced a suitable capacitance could be employed and the ripple could be brought down for the testing aspect. So, these are the basic uh, idea of uh, generating the high voltage uh, DC and several high voltage uh, DC sets are available across the country. One such example is the DC test setup uh, which has a capability of 2000 kilo volts. Uh, current rating of 10 amp particularly for testing the power cables uh, including a high voltage uh, uh, resistor automatic grounding system and so on and this uh, shows the photograph of uh, high voltage DC set in a laboratory. Uh, 